Have you ever wondered how electronic devices manage to store and release energy almost instantly? Or why your car's audio system doesn't cut out every time there's a power fluctuation? The answer lies in a small but mighty component called a capacitor. Capacitors are found in almost every electronic device, from your smartphone to high-powered industrial machines. But what exactly is a capacitor? How does it work? And why is it so essential to modern electronics? In this video, we'll break down everything you need to know about capacitors, including their structure, function, types, and real-world applications, right here on History of Simple Things. A capacitor is a passive electrical component that stores and releases electrical energy. Unlike a battery which generates energy through a chemical reaction, a capacitor simply holds an electric charge and releases it when needed. This ability to store and discharge energy quickly makes capacitors crucial for various applications, such as power conditioning, filtering noise in circuits, and even in flash photography. The fundamental principle behind a capacitor is based on electrostatics. When voltage is applied across its terminals, it accumulates an electric field between two conductive plates separated by an insulating material called a dielectric. This electric field allows the capacitor to store energy temporarily, ready to be released when required. To understand how a capacitor works, imagine a water reservoir with an inlet and an outlet. The reservoir stores water when it's not being used, and when demand arises, it releases the stored water quickly. A capacitor works in a similar way, but with electric charge instead of water. When connected to a power source, electrons accumulate on one plate, while the other plate loses electrons, creating an electric field between them. The capacitor remains in this charged state until a circuit is completed, at which point the stored energy is released rapidly. This rapid discharge makes capacitors ideal for applications that require quick bursts of energy, such as in camera flashes, pulsed lasers, and defibrillators. The ability of a capacitor to store charge is measured in farads named after the English scientist Michael Faraday. A one farad capacitor can store a massive amount of charge, so in most practical applications, we use microfarads, nanofarads, or picofarads. The capacitance of a capacitor depends on three factors, the surface area of the conductive plates, the distance between them, and the properties of the dielectric material. A larger plate surface area or a smaller distance between plates results in a higher capacitance, meaning the capacitor can store more charge. Similarly, using a dielectric material with a higher permittivity enhances the capacitor's ability to store charge. Capacitors come in various types, each suited for different applications. Electrolytic capacitors, which use a liquid electrolyte, are commonly used in power supply circuits due to their high capacitance. However, they have a limited lifespan and can be sensitive to voltage polarity. Ceramic capacitors, on the other hand, are widely used in high-frequency applications, such as radio transmitters and microprocessor circuits, due to their stability and small size. Film capacitors, made from plastic films as the dielectric, are highly reliable and used in audio systems, motor controllers, and even medical equipment. Supercapacitors, also known as ultracapacitors, have extremely high capacitance values and are used in energy storage applications where quick charge and discharge cycles are needed, such as in regenerative braking systems in electric vehicles. Capacitors play a crucial role in everyday electronics. In power supply circuits, 
They act as energy reservoirs, smoothing out fluctuations and ensuring a stable voltage supply. This is especially important in devices like computers, where sudden power drops could cause data loss or damage sensitive components. In audio systems, capacitors are used to filter out unwanted noise and improve sound quality. Without capacitors, speakers and amplifiers would produce distorted and unclear audio signals. Capacitors are also essential in signal processing circuits, such as those found in televisions and radios, where they help tune frequencies and filter unwanted interference. Capacitors and batteries both store electrical energy, but they function differently. Batteries generate electricity through chemical reactions and release energy over a long period. In contrast, Capacitors store energy electrostatically and discharge it almost instantly. This difference makes batteries better for long-term energy supply, while capacitors excel in applications requiring quick bursts of power. In some modern applications, researchers are exploring the possibility of using supercapacitors as an alternative or complement to batteries, particularly in electric vehicles where fast charging times are crucial. Capacitor technology continues to evolve, with new advancements improving their efficiency, durability, and energy storage capacity. Researchers are working on developing graphene-based capacitors, which could significantly increase capacitance and energy density while reducing size and weight. These next-generation capacitors could revolutionize energy storage, making renewable energy systems, electric vehicles, and portable electronics even more efficient. Another exciting development is flexible capacitors, which could be integrated into wearable electronics, smart textiles, and even medical implants, allowing for better power management in compact and flexible devices. Capacitors may be small, but their impact on modern electronics is enormous. They store and release energy efficiently, stabilize power supplies, filter signals, and enable technologies ranging from smartphones to electric vehicles. Understanding capacitors helps us appreciate the intricate workings of electronic devices we use every day. As technology advances, Capacitors will continue to play a vital role in shaping the future of electronics, energy storage, and even medical innovations. So the next time you switch on a device or hear a crisp sound from your speakers, remember the capacitor working silently behind the scenes. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.